Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toya from the Classy Sassy Life. Today is a different type of video. We are outside. It is such a beautiful day. So I decided to kind of do a Plan With Me series outside. Um, so every uh, Plan With Me that you see this week uh, or planner set up, except for one, will be done outside. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. So we are in July and most people are moving on um, to new planners, except for myself. I'm going to stick with my um, sugar and spice planner but I'm going to change some things up just to make it look a little bit different and um, just to help me feel like I have a new planner because I don't want to buy a new planner so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, a few things out of here and just leave these on the black rings so I'm going to go ahead and pop off my cover and my sugar and spice cover I do want my graphing paper and this divider and I want this sheet here because it has July on it I want this divider and I want this and this cover Oh no, I broke my cover, guys. Uh, it'll still work. I'll probably have to get a new one, but until then, this still works. All right, so I'm going to be using these rings here. I really like this teal, like seafoam green color ring. So I'm going to be using those. Okay guys, so now I am just grabbing these beautiful discs and I'm going to be using those. I still can't believe I broke my cover, but um, I made it work. So now I'm just practicing lettering my name before I letter it. And yes, I know that my um, upstrokes are not that good yet guys, but I am working on it. Um, and for those of you who don't know, my nickname is Toya. My first name is Matoya. So now I'm getting ready to put in the rest of the planner. So I am just putting on the cover and then I'm adding in that extra ring that I couldn't clip on at first. Um, and I don't think it's going to hurt it too bad, but I'm definitely going to be looking at getting another cover. Okay, and of course, I am going to put a divider here for the month that I'm currently on. Um, I like to keep receipts from when I go to the store because this is the planner I generally take with me. And this ooh la la folder is just too cute. I cannot not have that in my planner. And then I finally have some notes and my Plan a Happy Life divider. And you know what? I think I'm going to switch the dividers out and actually use my Plan a Classic a Happy Life divider in the front and my pink divider to separate everything in the back. Okay, guys, so we are ready. How gorgeous are these discs? They are just too stinking cute. All right, guys, let's get into this plan with me. I am pulling out my dashboard, my monthly, and my first week, um, and I am going to get started. I'm just so in love with those discs, guys. They are <laughs> definitely my fave. Um, so I brought a ton of sticker books outside with me because I was not sure of the ones that I was going to use. So there is a mini seasonal, the mini planner basics, gold star quotes, um, a regular seasonal sticker book I also have this beautiful washi and the mom sticker book so I have all of those um, specifically for the meaning so we're gonna start with the monthly and I'm just going to do some things a little bit different this is my birthday month so I want to make it nice and festive and I want to have a beautifully um, brightly decorated monthly spread but I was really struggling with this thin washi guys um, and I'm not sure if it was because of my nails or what 
It's probably because I'm not used to doing washi. That's probably what it was. So anyway, I went with this really beautiful um, Happy Day washi at the top. And then I went with this print at the bottom. And I also have the Fisker's Finger um, knife. And I think it is too cute. And it definitely came in handy for this washi. And then I grabbed this yellow scallop washi. I wanted it nice and bright. It's summertime. Um, so I am just laying that toward the top. I'm super excited. This is my last week of vacation of not like going to the school and then working and getting my classroom together. So I definitely want to enjoy this. And we're also going on vacation. And I wasn't very picky when I was choosing my washi. I just basically was looking through the sheets, trying to decide which ones I liked. Um, and then I went ahead and cut the excess off and put it on my birthday, which is the 12th. Um, and I wanted it to stand out as much as possible. So I did a lot of layering with that um, day as well. So you'll definitely see that. So now I'm just kind of flipping through and see if I can find any other stickers. And I found this gorgeous um, hexagon sticker that says, Oh, happy day. And now I'm in my seasonal. And I grabbed um, the Sweet Land of Liberty and laid it on the fourth. And then this polka dot sticker. Um, like I said, I have a lot of things going on on this bread, but I really like it. Um, I put have a beach day at the bottom there, but I feel like we're going to do a little bit of everything. I've been dying to use these little ants in my planner. I thought they were too cute. So I put them with the barbecue stickers that I used. I also put take a road trip because we're going to be traveling to the beach and it's about five hours from us and then i grabbed this birthday cake and these gold foiled birthday to layer it on the 12th so it's a very busy um day for me i was going to use this red and white stripe sticker but i decided not to i grabbed this summer break sticker because as i said i am finishing up um my summer break before i officially start going to school to work um I won't be keeping regular hours, but I definitely want to make sure that I'm working tirelessly to get my classroom set up because it's a brand new setup for me. So now I'm using the bottom just to add a little bit of decoration. That sandcastle to kind of match the have a beach day with that coconut drink, which I've never had one before, but I would love to try one. And then I am all about watermelon popsicles in and ice cream in the summertime so of course I had to use those stickers and that was all from the seasonal and then I wanted to use my sidebar for just motivation um, I am turning 30 in a couple of days and it is a big blessing and I need to continue to find my happy and to um, continue to motivate myself so I grabbed some of these circle stickers from the gold star quotes line and I thought all three of them were too cute. So one says, um, keep on ewing, press on and believe in you. So I am really pleased with my monthly layout. So let's look at um, my dashboard. I was very simple with my dashboard. I used a paper mate, paper mate gel pen with the cap on it um, in my favorite color of purple. And I just wrote down um, the top five things that I want to do. And that is enjoying the rest of these days, having days out with my son, um, praying, finishing my Bible study, and um, uh, finishing my room. And so I grabbed three out of those five for my top three but the goal is to get all five done the only birthday i wrote down was mine but there are a few more birthdays and i'll probably use um my squad goals planner for that so anyway i want to cover up that checklist i never really use it so i am going to cover it up and so i was looking through all of my sticker books trying to find a sticker that I could actually use and it took a couple for me to get there.
So I ended up going back to my washi book um, and the washi book actually has a few box stickers. So I did grab um, that same striped washi from the month and the one happy life in that purple and teal. Um, and then I just grabbed the um, small strip of washi that is the same pattern and I kind of layered it and then on top of that I put a green sticker for the best and the green it coming from the stripes so I ended up moving it the striped washi in front of the box sticker just because I like the way that looked better so now we're on to our weekly layout in the final plan with me piece in my mini for the month and of course guys I always have like a little box for um, phone calls that I need to make um, and I do make regular phone calls every week so um, I didn't bring out my tiny sticker book so I didn't have a phone icon to use there so I used something a little bit different I also love the font on this vacation I love the way that it looked so I used that sticker as well I grabbed a summer loving sticker and that transformed um, this into more of a teal and red um, spread and I really like it so I decided to cover up that thankful with that black and white um, polka dot and I grabbed an, an inspirational st sticker that we rise by lifting up others and that's a great sticker to kind of live your life by basically so on Tuesday I'm gonna have to do a little bit of packing so I make sure I put a note there to remind myself that I need to make a packing list um, and on Saturday I'm gonna be running errands and meal prepping and just treating the rest of this month as if I was actually going to school um, just trying to get that together now my camera did cut off at one point and the only thing that I added was um, a lunch date sticker um, in that gorgeous um, lettered font a church sticker and a shopping sticker on Saturday then I grabbed Independence Day and I laid it on top of this um, sticker that I cut in half it was a uh, black and white stars and and then I laid down the yellow um, today sticker on top of my call box there at the top because I wanted it to stand out in comparison to the rest of my spread. And then I went back to the teal and red for the remember. And I like to do that for just to make a list of things that I have going on for the next week. Um, and that helps with planning. I added those cute little popsicles because who doesn't love popsicles on the 4th of July, which is also a sticker that I laid down. And I do realize that they stand for the same holiday, but I really wanted to use both of them, so I did. And the last thing I'm doing here is just gonna add the number 12 for my birthday on the dashboard. And then I went to my gold star quotes for a little bit more motivation. And I grabbed a sticker from there that says worry less and smile more. Okay guys, so that's going to wrap up this plan with me. Um, no, I'm not going to do an after the pen on camera this time just because this video is super long, but I will post my after the pen spread on Sunday. So let's do a recap. This was our monthly view here. How cute. Um, and then we moved on to our dashboard, which is even cuter. And then finally, we have our independent spread. And I really just kind of went with just random colors. And I like the way it turned out. It's not too busy, but it's enough. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep God first in everything you do. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and plan a classy and sassy life, guys. Bye.